What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to create a simple login screen that is actually connected to a database for our TK Inter applications. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to create simple login screens for our TK Inter applications in this video today. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a database containing some sample data. So usernames, passwords, and also some additional information that we're going to have access to once we're logged in. And for this, I'm going to create a Python script, I'm going to call this create underscore DB. And for this video, we're going to use a SQLite database, a file based database. So I'm going to say import SQLite three, which is part of core Python, so we don't need to install anything. And the connection is going to then be equal to SQLite three connect. And since it's a file based database, I just provide a file name. If this file does not exist, it's going to create a new database. If it exists, it's going to connect to the existing database. So I'm going to say here, user db dot db. And then I'm going to get a cursor object. So I'm going to say cursor equals connection dot cursor. And then I'm going to create a basic user table. So I'm going to say cursor execute. I'm going to use a multi line string here. And I'm going to say create table if not exists users. And then I'm going to define the fields, so I'm going to say username, text, primary key, that is going to be the identifier, then I'm going to have a password, we're going to keep it simple here now without hashing or anything, I'm just going to have it plain text in a database, which is of course, not the professional way to do it. Um, so text not null, especially not in a SQLite database, because it's not uh, possible to encrypt it without an additional tool like SQL cipher or something like that. Uh, but okay, we're going to have username password, we're going to have name, which is also going to be not null, we're going to have age, which is an integer, not null. And we're going to have email, which is going to be text, not null. So this is our basic table. And then we're going to afterwards fill it up with some sample data. So we're going to say cursor execute multi line string again. And I'm going to say insert into users, username, password, name, age, email, values. And then we're going to have these um, these users here, I'm going to say user one will have the password pass one, two, three, uh, Mike Smith, and he's 30 years old, and he has the mail, Mike at example.com. And then I'm going to copy paste this, I'm going to have user two, user three, let's change this to four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine change this to Bob, uh, I don't know, Bob Woods. And then 50 years old, Bob at example.com. And then we have something like Sarah, I don't know, winter, 40 years old, Sarah at example.com. All right. And in the end, we're going to say connection commit and connection close. So now we have our database created here, as you can see on the left side, and all we need to do now is the actual application. So we need to build the actual login application around it. For this, we're going to create a main py file, and we're going to say import tk inter as tk. Now also we're going to need from tk inter dot message box import, or actually, let's do it like this from tk inter import message box, and also of course, import SQLite three, because we need to connect also to the database that we just created. So we're going to have this application modeled as a class. So login app is going to be our class. And we're going to have a simple init method here that defines the user uh, user interface. So I'm going to say self root is going to be equal to TK TK. Or actually, this is not going to be root, let's call it self dot login window, because we're going to have multiple windows here. Uh, that is going to be TK TK. And I'm going to say self dot login window title is going to be login application. And then we're going to add some basic UI elements, a label that asks for the username. So text is equal to username. 
Um, and of course, it's going to be part of self dot login window. Now, since we're not going to refer to this label, we're going to just immediately pack it, we're not going to store it in a label variable. Um, then we want to have an entry, which is going to be the username entry. So self username entry is going to be equal to TK entry, part of self dot login window. Um, and the text, actually, no, we don't want to have a text for the entry, we're just going to say pack, or oh, we're going to do it like this self dot username entry pack, because otherwise, we're not going to return anything. Um, and then we're going to copy that and we're going to do the same thing for the password. So we're going to say that there's a label with the text password. And then there's going to be a password entry. And then basically, we just need a login button. So self login button is going to be equal to TK button. And this button will be part of the login window. Again, it will have the text login, and it will have the command. So the functionality self dot login. Now, self dot login will be a function or a method of our class. So we're going to say self dot or define login with a self object here, I'm going to pass for now. Um, and this login function will basically get the information or get the content of the username entry password entry, and check it against the database. And if the information is correct, if it matches a user and a password, we're going to log into that specific user and open up an additional window with the information. So we're going to say here in the login function, I want to have a connection SQLite, SQLite three connect to user db db, I want to have a cursor connection cursor. And then what I want to do is I want to get the information from the text boxes. So the username is going to be equal to the self dot username entry get. So this is just getting the content of that entry. We're going to do the same thing with the password and the password entry. And then we're going to execute the following statement, we're going to say select everything from users, where, and then username equals question mark, and password equals question mark. And we're going to set this actually, let me just move this up a little bit. Uh, we're going to pass your username and password. This is just a prepared statement with the question marks here. So we don't have uh, too easy SQL injections here. All right, so this is our statement, then what we do is we get the results, the so user is going to be equal to cursor dot fetch one. So get the user that matches this username and password combination, if such a user exists. So if we have an object actually here, we're going to say self dot show profile, which is going to be another function. And to this function, we're going to pass the user. Um, otherwise, if the user is none, so if it doesn't actually return any user, we're going to create a message box. Uh, show error. And we're going to say login failed as a title and the message is going to be invalid username or password. And then in the end, we're going to close the connection. All right, so that's the process. And now the only thing that we need is the show profile function. So we're going to say show profile, not subclass hook show profile, given a user. And what we're going to do now for this user is we're going to create a new window, we're going to say self dot login window, uh, destroy, we're going to say self dot profile window is equal to TK TK self dot profile window title is going to be uh, let's make this an F string. And now we can say profile off or actually like this profile off and then the user is going to be a dictionary and the dictionary will have the name at position three. So index two. So we're going to say user two. Um, or actually, we should just go with the username user zero. And then we're going to say TK a label. 
and we're going to say that the text or actually it's going to part it's going to be part of profile window and the text is going to be equal to an f string where we're going to say that the name of the person is going to be user two we're going to pack this right away and now we're going to copy paste this and we're going to do the same thing with h and email and we use our three user four and then finally self profile window main loop did we do a main loop up here i don't think so we need to do a main loop actually we need to also pack the button so we need to say self login button pack and we need to say self dot login window main loop to actually run it um, yeah, I think that should be it. We can now go ahead and create our main section here. If name equals main, we're gonna run login app. There you go. So now I can type some nonsense in here and I get invalid username or password. Actually, what I wanted to do is I wanted to also add to the password field, um, uh, a censorship. So I want to say TK entry, but I want to say show is equal to an asterisk. So that when I type the password, you can see what I'm typing. Uh, or no one can see what I'm typing. So if I just type some nonsense here, nothing's going to work. If I also use a valid username, but an invalid password, I get invalid username or password. If I say pass one, two, three, login, you can see it opens up a second window with name Mike Smith, H30, Mike example, com, and so on. If I go ahead and I say user two pass um, four, five, six, there you go. I get Bob Woods and so on. So yeah, this is how you build a simple login screen in TK Enter. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.